If you're really affiliated with NBA Twitter, you guys seen this viral tweet. Bleacher Report putting out a video saying Steph's teammate knew it was cash before he even passed it. What went more viral was the quoted tweet when said teammate said, Hi, I'm Steph's teammate. My name is Juan. That tweet has over 400,000 likes. So who exactly is Juan Toscano Anderson? Warriors fans just know him as that very old second year player who's playing shooting guard for them this season. But what's his story and how did he end up being Steph's teammate? It's an inspirational one, I'll tell you that. And guys, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. The channel is really growing right now and the likes really push the video out. So join the community. With that being said, let's get into the video. Juan Toscano Anderson may have only played 30 or so games in a Warriors jersey, but his love for the Warriors has been coursing through his veins since he was in the third grade when his teacher put him in a basketball camp. His love for basketball started then and he naturally gravitated to the Warriors being an Oakland, California native. He continued this basketball thing not because he wanted to go professional, but he enjoyed it so much and by grade 11, his junior year, he realized he could do something with basketball when colleges really started pursuing him with phone calls, emails and etc. So Toscano, being the dedicated individual he is, started revolving his whole schedule to make him a better basketball player. That goes from eating right, to sleeping right, to practicing non-stop. It paid off because in his senior year, he led his high school to a record setting campaign, a 30-2 record which claimed the school's first league and North Coast section title. His campaign led him to being a top 100 recruit in the country, a sought out product and he took his talents to Marquette and it went terrible. He spent 4 years there, played over 120 games and only averaged 3.8 points while shooting 29% from 3 and 59% from the free throw line. Toscano didn't even bother putting his name in the 2015 NBA draft because he knew he would go undrafted as his college campaign was a joke and he made very minimal improvements from high school. He didn't even have offers from overseas. See Toscano's game was poor and it was evident he wasn't naturally gifted at basketball like others. So he was very lucky when the Mexican Basketball League took a chance on him. The Liga Nacional de Baloncesto Profesional. His first season in the league, he was not only an all-star, but an all-star MVP. Obviously, the talent level in the LNBP is not the greatest, but it was clear Toscano was getting better with each game and was really finding his role. He would spend three more seasons there, where he would capture their championship twice and win the league MVP award. Juan was on top of the world and he felt he had accomplished everything he needed to down in Mexico. So he went to Santa Cruz and tried out for the Santa Cruz Warriors. In other words, the Golden State Warriors G League team. They were blown away by him because of the effort he put into every possession on the defensive and offensive end. He made it to the team and he was an integral part to their roster, helping them go as far as the conference finals. He got even better the following 2019-2020 season and his play was rewarded with a call up to play for the Golden State Warriors. See, Toscano's offensive game is a work in progress. He won't give you many points, but what he will do is get you easy buckets. He knows how to set screens, get the ball to the right man, and make harsh cuts. Where he's most valuable at though is the defensive end. He has a 6'6 frame and is often referred to as a positionless player, able to guard 1 through 5. He makes defense so much easier for others because of how committed he is on that end and how he communicates on defensive possessions. He essentially earned his ranks and this season he has gotten better defensively and has developed a more reliable 3 point game, shooting 42% from 3 on 2 attempts a game. The Warriors staff, especially Steve Kerr, love this kid. They see him as this strong leader who's beneficial to the team on the bench and on the court. They're always raving about him. Juan Toscano Anderson is an inspiration. He averaged 4 points in college but never gave up on his dream. He worked so hard, coaches would tell him to chill out. And finally, he made the league at age 26 and now is a name we should all know. He's not just Steph's teammate, he is Juan Toscano Anderson. That's all we have for today. This is Earn Your Ranks where we only talk about ball. 
signing off.